You know, quite often in geometry issues, it's really handy to be able to actually look at the graphs and pictures of things in the coordinate plane. And so if we're trying to sort of think about a triangle or a rectangle or some other shape, and we're trying to sort of establish how that shape is and the proportions of those things are, it turns out that the actual physical position in the plane doesn't really matter. For example, if I'm studying this rectangle, its properties aren't going to change in terms of sides and angles and lengths and measures if I move it around. So in fact, if I want to study this rectangle, I can place it in the coordinate plane any way I want. But you see, some places are more convenient than others if we're trying to analyze it. So here's an example. Let's try to position a rectangle with a length of four units and a width of six units in the coordinate plane. Let me show you the possibilities. So here's a copy of the coordinate plane. You can see I've marked in yellow the units 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, of course, I could put the rectangle anywhere, but that's going to be a really hard thing to analyze if I put it that way. But notice that there's some easy places I can put it. For example, I could have one of the vertices actually be located at the origin, at 0, 0. Then this vertex would be located at 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 comma 0. This vertex would be located at 0 comma 6, and this vertex here would be located at 4 comma 6. So that's convenient because, in fact, then one of the vertices is actually a pretty easy point, 0 comma 0, so that's, those are easy numbers to deal with. So that's sort of a neat place to put it. By the way, notice that the rectangle perfectly fits between these two axes because the angle of a rectangle here, that angle, is 90 degrees. Well, that's not the only place I could have placed it. I could have placed it if I wanted to, centered it right symmetric with the y-axis. Now, that may be convenient if I am actually interested, for example, in the, the midpoint of this side. See, now the coordinates of my vertices would be 2, comma, 0, 2, comma, 6, negative 2, comma, 0, negative 2, comma, 6. But now it's easy to see where the midpoint of this side is. It's at the origin. So you can see, given different situations, we might want to place the rectangle different places. We might want to have the very center of the rectangle, its very core, be located at the origin, in which case then the rectangle would be sitting in the, in the coordinate plane like this. So quite often it's up to us to figure out how we want to place objects in the coordinate plane. And we should pick ways that are convenient for whatever it is that we are trying to do at hand.